It's the media chat room where the celebrity headlines are talking. It's that time again, Chatty Patty lovers, for some rap beef. So the beef that's brewing up headlines this time is Cardi B and Bia. Now, Bia is a new girl on the block. She started to grow her mainstream fan base once she was on a show called Sisterhoods of Hip Hop. Now, you already know how it goes, Chatty Patty. A new female enters into the industry. Very humble, saying she wanted to work with all females because there needs to be sisterhood. Then things start to mysteriously happen behind the scenes. Fans get a whiff of it, then start to say the artist they love is better than another. The media hears the rumble and then starts to egg it on. And next thing you know, you have a diss record going back and forth between two artists. That seems to be the play works every single time. And quiet as it's kept, I'm starting to think the artists actually like it because it helps them to develop a cult following. So how exactly did this beef start, especially since back in 2001, Bia wanted to work with Cardi? Well, we're going to go ahead and break all this beef down. But first, I'm going to need you to like and share this video with everyone that you know. Then subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official Chatty Patty lover. And I promise you're going to love it here. And last but not least, turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live. So in 2023, Bia dropped this song with Timberland called I'm That Bia Bia. Now that actually is a sample off of Missy Elliott's song, She's a Bee. A few months later, Bia dropped another song called Millions along with a video. Well, as Cardi was gearing up to drop her new album, she was sprinkling up some promo. One of the first released was a freestyle called Like What, which also sampled the Missy Elliott's record, She's a Bee. So you already know the girlies was going crazy on Twitter. Now, some could say both girls are just trying to pay homage to Missy Elliott. After all, Missy Elliott was recently inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But even that thought wouldn't have last for long because shortly after that, Cardi B dropped the visual to one of her songs, Enough which seemingly duplicates some of the style and scene from Bia's video, Millions. So the girls on Twitter and TikTok was like copycat alert. And then Lil Subliminal started to get tweeted. So Bia said, it's getting weird. Then this was Bia's response when a fan said that Bia is on Cardi B's mood board. So Cardi had to let everybody know what it really is. Me this close to dropping receipts on my projects and everything. Cause y'all have y'all getting a lot of nerves, and on top of that, not only do not only that, but drop these conversations that I have with you bitches. Conversations is embarrassing. You bitches are fucking crazy if I drop these fucking conversations. Stop testing me. Stop trying me. You bitches got my number. Stop doing internet shit. Cause once I start doing internet shit, it's not gonna be funny. You're gonna look fucking crazy. Oh, my mama, bitch. But Bia was not moved because she dropped a song called Fall Back. And people definitely thought she was taking some subs at Cardi. And not to mention that Bia started to link up with Nicki Minaj, which was a definite line in the sand. Because we know anybody who like Nicki definitely don't like Cardi. Then another disc came and it was slicker. Bia was featured on Dreezy's song, Be Duh saying Cardi cannot rap on beat and she always on live crying, which we all know is kind of fake. Where Cardi then hopped on a remix with Glorita and Meg The Stallion. The song is called Wanna Be. And although Cardi says she don't usually sub, she gonna definitely sub while trying to be direct. Because although people around here thinking that Cardi wanna be Bia, she said nobody wanna be Bia, which is actually just the wordplay on her name. And of course, Bia responded immediately, saying that Versus Wag and Cardi definitely don't want her to get in the studio because she really write like that, like that. So it's sounding like it's about to give another beef battle because everybody is definitely loving Cardi Bar, and I don't think Bia is gonna take this one lying down, especially since this is gonna create an opportunity for her to make some money and create more fans, especially after seeing what Kendrick just done to Drake. The exposure and attention from this alone will start to put eyes on Bia just because she's going after Cardi B. Now, Chatty Pat, is it time to hop in those comments? Let me know your thoughts on this upcoming beef. Do you think if Bia responds that Cardi will respond back? And do you think this beef could garner as much attention as Drake and Kendrick create new opportunity and business ventures for Bia? Or will this beef end up continuing to divide the ladies who are in the rap industry, making new oncomers feel like they have to choose a side? I definitely want to know what you think about it. And make sure you leave all the details because I'm parking in those comments to read what you have to see. And before you go, make sure that you like and share this video with everyone that you know. Then subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official Chatty Patty lover. And I promise 
you're gonna love it here and last but not least turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live now chatty patties you already know how i do it first i'm heading to the comments to see what you had to say then it's back to scrubbing the headline so that i could bring you another video so that's gonna be all for now and until next time bye bye